folks, and welcome back to another episode of Pinal Prep Spotlight, brought to you by 911 Air Repair, your local air conditioning expert specializing in maintenance, repair, and new installations. We are kind of nearing the end of the regular season here. We only have uh, maybe two, three weeks left. Um, so our game of the week for this week is going to be on the softball diamond. We are talking one of our top teams uh, here in Pinal County, and that is Santa Cruz Valley. They are going to be hosting Glendale Prep on Friday. Um, David, you're our Eloy fan here. What can you <laughs> say about these these Dust Devils? Yeah, well, you mentioned right at the top of the top of the show here. They're one of our most uh, our most successful teams so far this year. They've had a really good job, and it's all started with the same core that they've had for the last few years. It kind of starts and starts and stops with someone like Tatiana Reyes, who's in her junior year now and is still just as good as she was as a freshman, batting 532 so far. In fact, uh, there's three Santa Cruz Valley players that have a batting average over 500 with over 40 at-bats in this season so far. So just hitting the cover off of the ball, but then like most things, when it comes to our team so far, it comes down to pitching. And pitching's been okay for them so far. Uh, they've had some some good performances from some girls like Layla Brown. She's got an ERA around three and a half so far this season. Um, and it's just kind of finding those pieces that are going to continue to move them up. Uh, Tatiana Reyes herself is a pitcher. She hasn't done too great, but she's only had about four innings pitched. Uh, I mean, Layla has taken it over with 77 innings pitched so far this year, so she's going to be the, the clear ace of this team moving forward, and it's going to come down to picking up wins, but with this game being on Friday, it's going to be I, it, I worry about them a little bit just because of the schedule they got to play throughout this week. They're playing three games in this week before they even get to Friday to play Glendale Prep, so we're going to have to see how they adjust to that and how they are able to kind of get rest when they need to and kind of have this grindy of a schedule before we get to, you know, closer to the end of the season when we get to play-ins and playoff time. So I think they're able to keep their wits about them and kind of stay true to who they are, hit the cover off the ball and be aggressive base runners. That's a big thing for Santa Cruz. They are always looking to steal extra bases and also take extra bases when they hit the ball hard. So I expect them to continue to do the same thing and then just kind of keep working towards their ultimate goal, which is bring a championship back to Eloy. It's always been that question of what happens when they actually get to the tournament. Once they get to the tournament, they just have to turn it up a little bit of a notch. And I expect this game is just going to be another stepping stone to where they want to be in the future. So David mentioned Santa Cruz schedule. It's the same case for uh, Glendale Prep. They're also playing four games this week. But the thing is here, softball players are just built differently compared to all the other athletes. They're used to playing in the heat. They're used to playing multiple games a day, uh, going all out, you know, however many innings they play. So, hey, this is nothing new for them. Um, however, at the high school level, usually they don't try to just fill out a week with a bunch of games. So, yeah, I think uh, fatigue might become a little bit of a factor for these two teams. But looking at Glendale Prep, we got to talk about Natalie Whipple. Uh, she is betting over 500 for, for them. Just 11 hits, 11 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, and then in the circle, she's her, she's her go-to girl. Uh, over 26 innings pitched, she has a 3.72 ERA, 6 walks, 35 strikeouts. However, the thing for Glendale Prep is overall as a team, their defense isn't really on par with a uh, majority uh, with most of the rest of the uh, 2 eight conference. As a team, they've allowed 81 runs, but only 40 44 of those have been earned. So this is kind of where I'm going to uh, I'm looking for Santa Cruz to capitalize. I've seen them before. They really like to drop down the butt and put that pressure on defense on defenses and and they are able to do that. A lot of teams try to go that route, but they struggle getting the ball in play. Santa Cruz doesn't seem to have that problem. Um, overall, looking at the bigger picture here, uh, or starting this week, Santa Cruz is ranked in the top five. Can they keep that spot with just only a handful of games left and secure a top eight spot? If they manage to do that, then hey, they get... I'm trying to get my facts here straight. Um, I believe they get that first down by. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember if Santa Cruz does have that play in... Uh, playing game like all the other conference conferences do but you know if they do then hey they don't have to worry about that they can just focus on the first down and see where they go from there um overall david is there, is there anything else you would like to add well for this game specifically i'm glad you mentioned you know laying down the bunt because that is another identity of this team like you said aggressive base running and aggressive play style putting the pressure on the opponent that's going to be their key to also not only win this game but also have a deep run in the playoffs they really want to have that pressure on and keep that pressure on at all times i think if they're able to do that that, they could end up where they want to be, and it'll be a successful season. Unfortunately for us, we are stuck doing other non-sports duties for this week, so it'll be a very light week for sports covers, but we are still going to bring you guys the game of the week as we're talking about it. And next week, hey, we will be back at full steam, so be sure to check out Pinal Central for all of your local sports coverage.